We shall begin the interactive dialogue with the Independent Commission of Inquiry on the Occupied Palestinian Territory, including East Jerusalem and in Israel. Our examination revealed that the majority of violations are being committed by Israeli authorities as part of the Israeli government's goal of consolidating its permanent occupation at the expense of the rights of the Palestinian people. Venezuela takes the floor on behalf of the Group of Friends in Defense of the Charter of the United Nations. The Israeli occupation constitutes an illegal colonial occupation and apartheid regime. My delegation is serious concerned of the continued violation of human rights by Israel. An apartheid regime. Dismantle the system of apartheid, the root cause of such oppression. Impunity is writ large on Israel's dehumanizing and apartheid policies. But the war crimes and crimes against humanity are used on a daily basis as a normal tool of an apartheid entity. Thank you. I give the floor to United Nations Watch. Madam Chair, today's report examines attacks, restrictions, and harassment of civil society actors who address the issues under the COI's mandate. As you may know, our NGO recently marked its 30th anniversary as a civil society actor speaking out on these matters. On October 7th, we filed a legal complaint with the United Nations that documented a campaign of attacks, restrictions, and harassment targeting our organization. I invite all UN member states to see the rather shocking evidence at unwatch.org slash abuse. On October 11th, UN Assistant Secretary General Martha Lopez confirmed that the complaint would be considered. I would like to ask the members of the Commission, is there any reason why in the 78 pages of your report and annex there is not one reference to this kind of harassment targeting civil society organizations that speak out against anti-Semitic incitement by the Palestinian Authority and terrorist attacks by Hamas and Islamic Jihad? In regard to anti-Semitism, we commend the cross-regional group of 18 countries, including Britain, France, Brazil, Germany, Sweden, Norway, Liberia, Canada, and Switzerland, that condemned the remarks about, quote, the Jewish lobby by a member of the Commission, Mr. Kotari. We commend the UN Secretary General's remarks and the former Council President, who condemned the, quote, stigmatization of the Jewish people, which is at the heart of the expression of anti-Semitism. Madam Pele, do you still stand by your letter of 28 July defending Mr. Kotari's remarks, which have been condemned by the world for anti-Semitism. I would now call on the distinguished members of the Commission of Inquiry to respond to the questions and observations that have been provided. There were comments that went to the content of our current report. It is extremely encouraging to us that not one of the 50 states that have spoken in this interactive dialogue took any issue with the content of our report.